Have you ever pondered the distinction between air and oil shock absorbers? Fascinatingly, the differences lie in the materials and fluids used to dampen shocks and vibrations during motion. Today, we delve deeper into how these two types of shock absorbers work. Air shock absorbers come with an inbuilt air spring, coupled with a specialized pressure regulation system. This system comprises an air-filled chamber connected to the main body of the shock absorber. Adjusting the air pressure is as simple as adding or releasing air from the chamber with an air pump or a suitable device, changing the firmness of the absorber and subsequently, the vehicle's height. When the vehicle encounters uneven terrain or hits a bump, the air shock absorber absorbs the forces, transferring some to the air spring and some to the compressed air in the chamber. This allows the car's wheels to move smoothly, providing better control and comfort on the road. On the other hand, oil shock absorbers contain a special reservoir filled with oil that moves through valves and ports in the shock absorber. When the car moves and its wheels experience load, the oil in the shock absorber gets transferred from one chamber or compartment to another. This creates specific pressure and resistance that dampen shocks and vibrations, while simultaneously ensuring stability and control over the vehicle's movement. When it comes to adjustability, air shock absorbers typically offer more flexibility. By adding or releasing air, you can alter the firmness and height of the absorber. Although there are some models of oil shock absorbers that offer adjustability, it is generally more limited compared to air ones. As for price and maintenance, air shock absorbers are usually more expensive to purchase and maintain. They require periodic checks for air leakage and maintenance of the air pump. Oil shock absorbers in general are more cost-effective in terms of price and maintenance. Performance-wise air shock absorbers are often used in more luxurious and sports cars where a high degree of adjustability and comfort is required. Oil shock absorbers are typically more widespread in standard cars and in the industry. To recap, both air and oil shock absorbers work in tandem with the car's springs to dampen its movement, providing greater comfort and safety for passengers and cargo. Factors such as price, adjustability, and performance usually come into play when choosing between them. Regardless of the choice, both types play a crucial role in ensuring a smooth and safe ride.